Hello everyone, Crow back again with another gameplay video. This one was requested by Gaming Knight. He wanted to see some Star Tropic on the NES. So I'll uh, pop it in, turn it on, and uh, right off the bat I'll say I've never played Star Tropics. Uh, back when this game was released, I did want it, but I never got it. And I kind of just moved on and never went back to even see what this game was about. I've um, I gotta register my name. No, no saves in this one. I think it's because I replaced a battery in this one. Uh, okay, we gotta add an explanation mark, and that's me, Crow. Okay. So, okay, start the game. So, uh, yeah, I know a lot of things about the game. I know that there was some kind of secret decoder that you needed to put in certain part of the game. I know this is on the virtual console. It looks like we're on um, an island here. Kind of like an over-the-head Zelda view, and that's kind of why I was interested in this game to begin with. So I guess we have no choice but to go to this village. And we got a guy in a bikini. Coral Cola, huh? Alright. Yeah, this might be one of those videos I edit up because it is an RPG, albeit an action RPG. Uh, just to see. I'm an ace pitcher, blah 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 blah. Okay. So, I kind of vaguely remember the story, hearing about the story of this game. You are Mikey, and your uncle is the chief of this village. How he scored that, I don't know. I could be wrong. But then somebody, something gets kidnapped, and you go after him. I think it may be your uncle who gets kidnapped. Yeah, I don't know. In these RPGs, I always feel the need to talk to everybody, even though they're chatter is yeah, sometimes the most inane stuff. There's a kid hiding here back here. I mean, what if you went to a village, really, and everybody was just walking around in place just like that? That would be kind of freaky. Okay, here's, I guess, my uncle here. And, yeah, put on a shirt. Jeez. Uh, cheap Coracola, good friend. Oh, my uncle went missing. Okay, yes. My uncle's, you see now, see that's how bad my memory is. Yeah, my uncle's been kidnapped. That is not my uncle. He's not the chief of this village. I'm just an idiot. Um, I don't know what to do. Can you help? What, what if I say no? Is the game over? <laughs> it's very powerful. Let's say yo-yo. Yeah, I know that's a big, big part of the game, the yo-yo. Alright. Find a tunnel in the village and hurry to Dr. J's laboratory. Dr. J? Dr. Julie serving? This has got to be the tunnel. Why won't he get out of my way? Oh, you're Dr. J's now. Oh, you know what it was? I bet it was because I left the, uh, <laughs> the village. <sighs> Just like your North Star monsters. All right, finally, that's what I'm here to fight. Saving my dead eye. Okay, now we got a different point, viewpoint here. Yep, you want you walk one block at a time. Can't walk diagonally. A little bit different than Zelda here. All right, so we took care of the snails. So yeah, this is uh, like a Legend of Zelda here in the dungeons. You just have a bigger sprite and it walks a little bit differently. No diagonals. Kind of weird. Let's see. On to the next room. Let's see if I can get through this dungeon. Oh, I'm gonna get through this dungeon. I'll edit up the footage. How do I, uh, do I... Oh, eight jumps there. That's nice. Oh, that was bad. I died by going in the water? That must be some seriously poisoned water. Alright, we're starting again here. Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm not liking so much the way this grid battle is going here. I, I remember reading somebody's review on Star Tropics or Star Tropics 2, uh, saying how they liked how the character stuck to the grid, but 
Yeah, I can't say I'm liking it so much. Okay, jumps, uh, jump, jump. Alright. Well, that's weird. How am I gonna get across there? Maybe once I kill this thing, something will happen. No. Uh... Oh, there we go. Oh, you know what I bet? I bet I have to... Do I have to step on this one too? No? Hmm. Strange. Damn it. It's really weird. The, the, the motion here. Okay, well, I was gonna kill that thing, but I just happened to run right out the door. I still don't really like the uh, the way these uh, dungeon controls are. It's really weird. It's like there's a delay when you like if you want to turn and walk. There's like a half second delay. It's really kind of strange. It really takes some getting used to. Oh, you know what? I'm stupid. I bet one of these was a trigger. Got rats. All right. One last obstacle here. Oh, I see the pattern of those things now. And we got a room full of. Treasure chest. But, uh, how do I open it? Oh, I guess I have to hit it. Yeah, really kind of strange there. I got a torch or something now. And then there's a button to open this. Game is just filled with secrets, isn't it? More bats. Must be getting somewhere, cause he... let that open the that open the treasure. More fire sticks inside the treasure. Wouldn't the fire have gone out? You know, with lack of oxygen and the treasure chest, or would it burn the chest unless it's a metal chest? Be the boss of the level. How the hell do I? Is it the fire sticks? Do I? Is it... Oh, that's Alexa. Apparently, that's what hurts it. There we go. Come on, open that mouth again. Oh. How much? That must have got him. That must have hurt. All right, moving on. I hear victory music. Should have just given me my prize now. Well, 
weird that it makes me go another three straight. Okay, I see. I was going on my dungeon. Wow, I've done it. Yes. I have done it. Okay, it's saving. Uh, I'm going to cut the video short here. I just want to make it through one dungeon, fight one boss, and I've done that. Uh, thanks for everybody watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. I was able to negotiate the chicane with no sacrifice in speed. We'll be right back.